somebody? Yeah. Please okay. be as aggressive as you can, and this is not a rhetorical point, you know. But Mr. Shisek, what's, yeah? in your opinion, what's the greatest depiction of apocalypse in general of all time in cinema? In cinema? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a good point. It's the obvious answer, but I did something extremely perverted about it. Mm -hmm. I saw it as an optimist movie, Lars von Trier, Melancholia. Melancholia, great movie. It's an optimist movie, good news. This disgusting human race disappears from the earth. There will be a nice, peaceful universe after that. I really think that it has, the movie, a very refined ending. You remember when mm -hmm. the ethical heroine, played by Kirsten Dunst, mm -hmm. built a ki kind of imaginary tent and closed space just with four sticks and says to the other two, we are safe here. It's a very refined gesture because it's not a false consolation. They all know they will die. Mm -hmm. But she constructs what in politically correct jargon is they like to use the term, but in a wrong way, safe space. It's not that you are safe in this sense. It's simply more in an almost Buddhist sense, a, a space of inner freedom, a space of, to refer to other apocalyptic movies, a space of undeadness. You are alive, but already as alive, you are dead. So I always had this tendency if we talk, okay, this is not apocalypse, this is uh, horror movies. Uh, an American friend of mine developed, I plagiarized him, a good point about the opposition between vampires and zombies. Vampires are reactionary. They live among us, they are usually rich, noble men. Zombies are the working class, they just... <laughs> and so I think the true class struggle in horror literature is Vampires versus zombies. zombies. That's why I shocked my friend who played in Harry Potter movies. I hope you saw the last one where the bad guys attack that stupid school and so on. <laughs> and I said, uh, that Hogwarts, whatever. And uh, I said, it's the wrong end of the movie. The bad guy played without nose by, played by Ray Fiennes. This is the working class rebellion. They should kill them all, my God, you know, I will turn around the movie. So to go back, there are not many good catastrophe films. The ones I like are more this type of, how should I call them? Modest, even B-level, no big space battles, catastrophes, and so on. But uh, where you think life goes on, just. Then you notice, my God, but something is strange in this city, you know, that type of movies where, you know what this reminds me of? I'm very solidar with Palestinians on the West Bank, but at the same time, my God, I know what is anti-Semitism. And what shocked me is how in my country, ordinary normal people, she was a communist, my mother, who is already dead, how I noticed her anti-Semitism. She was very friendly with Jews. There was an old lady, her best friend. And once she had some, I don't know even who borrowed money from whom, but when this lady, they counted some money, left our apartment, my mother just turned to me and said, she is a nice lady, this old Jewish kind woman. But did you notice in what strange, intense way she counted the money? Ah, ah, ah. This was the sign that she is an alien, you know. That's why in good... Uh, apocalyptic movies, the aliens are not big frogs on what? I love those movies who, they are like us, there is just one detail. In some movies they have too much skin between fingers or some strange sign here that you identify them. So this is the, the apocalypse movies. Although I must say that I even like The Day After Tomorrow by your great compatriot uh, Ro uh, Roland Emmerich. Isn't that, you remember, a beautiful scene where things are turned around because United States are in a new ice age. Americans wait for entrance to Mexico, you know. 
I like them, but again, they, you know what I hate? Sorry, I will stop immediately. I talk too much. I hate these pseudo-apocalyptic movies, which between the lines are the worst kind of utopia, where the post-apocalyptic world is the same world as ours, just without the Jewish, capitalist, foreigner excess. It's like zero level, honest, good capitalism. These are the worst, like the one which deservedly failed, Kevin Costner's postman. It's the most stupidly part uh, civilization ends in the United States just divided small community and what Kevin Costner does, he finds an old uniform of a postman and pretends that the United States still exists. He simply starts carrying, do you see it, carrying yeah. post from one to the other. This is for me the reactionary apocalypse. Sorry, I talk too much. Okay. So uh, I, I have to Thank warn you. you. I mean, this is uh, this cue we will never uh, no, get you. No, you have to warn me. Or, to be honest, I speak to too much. You? Please. Yeah. Hi. Um, 